All right, so we just picked up this brand new YZ250 2017 or 18, I mean 19. <laughs> um, no, but it's a 1998 YZ250. Did it say CR250? I don't even know. This thing runs minty for sure. Um, no fork seal leaks, brand new tires. Check out those tires. Brand new. One ride you said on them. Yeah, those are minty. Yeah. No leaks in the engine. Thing has good compression. I checked it like multiple times just to make sure. Like look, it just stops like right. Like feel that once. Pretty good, right? Oh, that's good. When you kick it over, it like just stopped. I'm like, whoa. A bike that has compression. What do you know? Yeah, a Yamaha that has compression. <laughs> Nitro Circus. Uh, it was trail ridden, I guess. Um, what else? It feels like a 125 when you sit on it. Get up there and sit on it once. It feels really tiny. Doesn't it? Baby bike. A little baby really bike. Skinny. Yeah, it's really easy to whip around. I jumped it off the curb when I was there. Yeah, things pretty minty. Can't complain. For a oh yeah, I also paid a thousand bucks for it, which is oh full gas. Thing. Nah. <laughs> like five bucks in gas. Can't beat that. Dang. What's the VIN on the frame? It might be... Let's see if it's 98. What's the 10th letter? Rims are nice, not bent. W. W. Oh, I think that is 98. I'll have to check my phone. But, as you can see, rims are pretty good. All the spokes are tight. Brakes work. Um, Bearings seemed really tight. I shook those around. Uh, fork seals aren't leaking at all. I felt those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super dry. Oh, uh -huh. these are for uh, strapping oh, it down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How can you use those, boy? Didn't even see those. Pro circuit pipe on it, right? Yeah. With the. They just, like, took the. With the original. Though. Is that, no, that's, yeah, that's Pro Circuit Shorty Pipe on there, too. Dang, stainless. It's, uh, it's, I think they run a lot better with the Pro Circuit. Instead of FMF. Oh, yeah. FMF is cool. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, original reeds, too. It's always a good sign. Get those original reeds going. Minty. What I would do is, oh, yeah. Nice plate on there. Covers up probably, like, 90% of the rust on the frame. Oh. <laughs> Um, what I would do is run stock reeds with pro circuit pipe. That's almost like the best. What I would do is run no pipe, straight gas. I'd slap a CR500 motor in there. Call it a day. No, I'd put it in a frame that's aluminum. Well, obviously. <laughs> How do you put it in this? That's a tiny bike, isn't it? Yeah, it is small. The Why does it look so really small? small? I don't know. Baby size. Well, we're going to get this off the stand and I'll take it for a quick rip -roo. See how she handles. With those new tires, that it's really minty. People in the comments were like, what does minty mean? Just Google it. <laughs> what does dumb mean? Definition. Charlie. Charlie Chuck. <laughs> They're like, it's... Is your name Charlie or Chuck? <laughs> Definition of dumb. Vintage viewers. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> They're all like, just read. Like, if you're a normal, if you're a normal person, and you're like over 13 years old. Go and read the comments. Like, oh man, people are so dumb. Any other venting you want to get off your chest? Mm -mm. So what we're sitting here with is a. CR250 that's clapped, the cylinder's in for repair, I took it to US Chrome, um, so that thing's getting repaired. It was $418 to repair the cylinder with a new piston and everything, so I'm just going to slap that back in the bike. With the rod, you guys were like, oh, the rod's bad, 
But it can have play. Another example, dumb. You can have play back and forth. Let's just check this out one more time. So I've got this on record. The play back and forth, as you guys can see. But up and down, there's no play up and down. Maybe like half a mil. It's hard to tell on camera. Here. See, no. No play up and down. So, I don't know what you guys were talking about. And the cage in there, people were like, oh, the cage is gone What's by cage? the bearings. I don't know what they're talking about. The bearing cage, people were like, oh, it's gone. New. It's super smooth, like what? Look at how smooth that is. I think it's fine. So I'm gonna slap the, uh, the piston and the cylinder back in there. Hope for the best. And uh, yeah, I think it's fine. So I did some research. I looked up other YouTube videos and uh, everyone said that the play in the rod can be back and forth quite a bit. And uh, it's not supposed to be tight. So, and the up and down is supposed to be like zero, which it is. So I'm thinking that's fine. Um, I'm thinking what happened with it is the guy left something in the cylinder or in the motor and the little piece came up through the piston and scratched it because it ran fine before. So, and then with the CR500, I think it just needs to be rejet. So we're gonna look at that and uh, get that figured out. But uh, we're gonna switch to GoPro, take the YZ250 for a rip and uh, see how it handles. So stay tuned. All right guys, sitting here editing this video. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, just go to uh, Instagram and go to, just go to my page. Uh, my story is up here and just click on that. And I do like behind the scenes, like that's me picking up the new bike. And then I do like a walk around. So, so you always get like the behind the scenes of everything. Um, and this is my page right here. 3,392 subscribers, that's the picture. It will focus. So that's the Instagram if you guys want to follow, and then my channel is linked below. So as you can see, there's a couple pictures down here. Um, but yeah, so go check out the Instagram if you don't follow me. You'll get like all the behind the scenes. It's kind of cool. So yeah, back to the video. All right, so here's the bike off the uh, off the truck. Pretty small bike um, compared to like my CR 250s and stuff. I mean, it's not that small, but. I mean, it's pretty decent. If I got new plastics for it, this bike would be pretty minty, actually. Like, just just imagine new plastics. It'd be a nice bike. Uh, I do like the pipe on it. I like the tires. Um, it runs great. It started up third kick just now. So, I think I got a pretty good bike. We'll see if it blows up or not. I'm going to take it for a ride right now. Switching to GoPro right now. All right. Can't wait to ride this beast. Um... I kind of like the 250 actually. It's a pretty sweet bike. It's super easy to handle. I like the new tires on it. Um, it's really nice when the bike has fresh tires. It really makes a big difference. Take her off the stand. That stand is clapped. But uh, turn it on. It doesn't even need the choke. First kick, that's what I'm talking about. I already had it warmed up, so it's already good to go. warmed up here. Seems like it. I really let it rip when I bought it and uh, it screams in like fourth, fourth and fifth gear. Thank you. 
is a pretty fast little girl, that's for sure. sound like uh, it's a carb clean. Like that. Like a plug is falling. She ripped pretty good though. For a thousand bucks. Can't really complain. I'll do a carb clean on her. We're run, get her running minty. at the bird. Take her through this. Definitely needs a carb clean. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be the ride for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, follow me at uh, two underscore vintage underscore. I'll leave a link in the description for that. And uh, obviously subscribe to the channel if you're new. We do a couple cool things here and there, so it's always an exciting time. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and until next time, we are out. Yeah,